Okay, it's a first for the vlog. Mail call. Let's see what it is. Address to a lift care of Jeff Vlog. Um, and the address here at the studio. Uh, from 92 Creations. So whoever 92 Creations is, let's find out. Jeff, I have really been enjoying this new vlog that you started. I'm starting a business myself and I'm really excited to learn a few things about what the heck I'm doing. I love seeing the family stuff too. The kids are super cute. Thank you. I created some stickers of your logo. Cool. Okay, I uh, created some stickers of your logo. I'm starting a company that does stuff like this. I don't have a website or a logo or any of that stuff yet, so I'm excited to learn. But I think people can look me up on Facebook, 92 Creations, and I should pop up question mark, question mark. Keep the help coming. We are loving it. Enjoy the stickers and keep creating. Kyleen at 92 Creations. Well, Kyleen at 92 Creations. Thank you very much for the stickers. They are freaking awesome and I will do that. I will keep creating for you and I will be putting my logo all over the place. Up to four things. Four things will have my logo on it. Okay, so let's talk about this. So the other day, you know, we had um, coffee and you talked about like embracing your competitiveness. And like when, yeah. when it comes, well, like if you're gonna start something, you have to have a, a bit of that in you. So for some people watching this right now, they're like super competitive, they know it, they own it, they're okay with it. Uh, so for me, you know, I think, you know, you really kind of opened my eyes to just like embracing the competitiveness. I don't wanna steal your thunder here, sure. but, uh, yeah. but I, I love that idea. And I think for, for the viewers, I think if they can own that right away, First of all, identify that you have to have it if you're gonna be successful, yeah, and two, if they can own it as opposed to apologizing for it, I think that's gonna put them well ahead. So I, you know, talk about that. And that. I'm glad you brought that up because it is really something that I'm really passionate about. Everyone is competitive in one way or another. It doesn't mean that everyone is athletic, but everyone has a gift or a gene of competition within them. And so I've learned to embrace it. At some point, I felt like it was a curse to be competitive because I'd get super angry if I, if, if I, if, uh, if I was losing at a, at a sport or something. I would get really depressed and down, a sore loser. And so when it came to building the church, I felt like it was taboo to say that you're competitive. And recently I've, I've discovered that competition is a gift. It's a gift and we all have it. And so if you learn to embrace the gift and, and use it for what it's for, you can win at whatever it is that you do because we all wanna win. No one wants to lose. And so here's how it works. For me, competition is a gift that God has given me so that I can experience victory. And instead of me viewing other churches as an adversary, instead of me trying to be better than them, I want to be better because of them. And so I look at competition as an opportunity to become great, to become better, to become who I really am. And, and it's really biblical. There's so many different examples that I could use, but here's how I view competition. Everything in my life is a game. And I know life is serious, it's precious, it's a gift that God has given us. But I see everything as a competition. I see the task 
that I need to do for the day, the goals, the to-do list, that's a competition. If I can accomplish it, I won. Going to the gym is a competition. Either apathy is gonna win or assertiveness is gonna win. And so I choose to go to the gym to work out and I wanna win. And so when I'm done, I, 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 I have this feeling of accomplishment because I got up and, and I did what I needed to do. If I take my wife on, out on a date, it's a competition. Either I'm gonna pursue my wife or not. If I pursue her, I, I believe and I feel like I'm winning in my relationship with my wife. Same thing with my kids. And in business, it's, it's the same. It's a competition. You look to the people that are doing it well, people that are experiencing greatness, the people that you look up to, you look at those people, maybe three or four, and, and you learn from them. You become teachable. And instead of getting discouraged, you, you just receive courage from them because you can get better, you can grow. So I'm always looking to people and being a student and getting better because of them, not trying to be better than them so that I can belittle them or, or build an empire for myself, no. We need each other to become who we were designed to be. And competition, to me, is, is one of the keys to greatness. That's, that's how I use it. So competition is a part of my life. I've embraced it. I'm super competitive because I want to be great. I want to be better. I want to be a man of excellence. And so without competition, it's not possible. So the more that you embrace that and you use it for your benefit, for your business, for your startup, hey, make it a game. I'm going to start. And if I don't start, then I'm losing. That's I'm cool. losing, but if I start, I'm winning. And if I get, you know, if I get incorporated, if, if I have my name, if I get my website, make it a game and one step at a time, you're scoring, you're winning. Everyone wants to win, man. Yeah, no, I love that. And I love what you said about like, you know, even like in your relationship with your wife, you want to make Every a competition, area. you want to win there. So like, win. I, I feel the same I way. I want to win her heart. That's right. <laughs> well, and, and I, so, so like, I like to try to do good husband stuff and I get credit for that sometimes, but I'm really not that good, but I get, I, somehow I get assigned this credit. But, so, and I hear like friends of ours mm -hmm. be like, oh, hey, what are you trying to win, husband of the year? And I'm like, yes, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. And guess what, I am winning it. Yeah. You're losing, you know, so. Hey, it feels good to win yeah, absolutely. Yeah. in your relationship with those closest to you, with your kids. It feels good to win at home, cutting the grass, you know, the honey-do list, whatever it is, it's, it's all a game. And if you're winning, it feels great. I'm here with my homie Jessica and Adam. We tried to do this yesterday and we had a full SD card. So lesson number 14 is always make sure that your SD card has space. Otherwise, you won't be able to record anything. So we're doing our is it Fort Worthy conversation. And today we're going to this place. That's right, Steel City Pops. Yeah, well, I got, I got um, lime with cayenne on it. Put in the lemons. It's all fresh. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's The official review, Steel City Pops. Is it Fort Worthy? 